I'm here today to teach you about BB gun safety and hopefully prevent you from going through the injury and pain that happened to me after a BB gun accident 26 years ago during my youth. First my story. When I was 16, I was with a group of friends in the neighborhood at the friend's house. It was me, a close friend of mine the same age, and a friend's younger brother who was about three or four years younger than us. I was seated next to the friend on a picnic bench in the backyard facing in the direction of the friend's younger brother who got the idea to pump the BB gun as high as he could to shoot some birds several yards over. For whatever reason, he decided to twirl the gun in circles without realizing his finger was on the trigger. It was during this time that the gun went off and blood started gushing out of my wrist. Where I was seated on the picnic bench, I had my right arm resting on my lap in front of my stomach about 10 to 12 inches directly below my heart. If the gun was coincidentally angled a smidge higher, I could have been killed. I was lucky because the BB lodged near my wrist deep into a bone near the wrist called the ulna. About four ounces of blood squirted out and my wrist was swelling up, so I was taken to the hospital where I was bandaged up. The doctor recommended against removing the BB at that time because it was too close to a growth plate. I can't show you the actual BB gun because after the accident, my friend's dad took the gun and wrapped it around the tree. I was unable to return to my summer job because of the injury and pain, which took two to three weeks to heal. Fast forward 26 years, and I was starting to get aches in my wrist where the BB was embedded. I decided to have it removed. The doctor drilled it out under twilight anesthesia during a one-hour procedure. I wore a splint for about two weeks for the initial healing prior to getting the stitches out, then I have to refrain from strenuous activity with that arm for the next eight weeks. Medical bills ran about $1,600. The moral of the story is I was very lucky that my injury was not more serious and lucky the BB did not go into my heart or skull. Here you can see on the x-ray that the BB, itself five millimeters, went through five millimeters of soft tissue and penetrated about another 10 millimeters into the bone at its furthest penetration. Keep in mind that the average skull is only about 6.5 to 7.1 millimeters thick and you can see how easily the BB could have wound up inside my brain and done serious damage. I don't want to say anything is perfectly safe but shooting hoops is my new hobby. Don't ask me to dribble. Um, a BB gun is not a toy. It's a gun that can cause serious injury and in rare cases even death. It's a dangerous and hazardous device. Careless use can easily result in serious injury or death. Close adult supervision is key. When using the BB gun, always make sure an adult is, act is actively watching. Close, not casual supervision is key. Use the same supervision protocol with BB guns that you would use with any other dangerous equipment such as power saws. If you would not allow your child to play with the power saw unsupervised or with you in the next room or with the neighborhood kids, don't allow it with the BB gun either. Treat the BB gun with respect to its maiming and injury potential. Let's review some basics of BB gun safety. Lock it up when not in use. Unload when not in use. Store ammo separate from the gun. Only load at your shooting location. Always treat the gun as if it were loaded. Never point the gun at a person. Don't put a finger on the trigger when moving the gun, which is what caused my injury. Only point at a target. Use your gun safety switch as directed. Wear approved gun safety glasses, which can be purchased for about $10. Read your gun safety manual. If necessary, you can get it from the manufacturer, and sometimes it's available online. Once again, uh, please make safety your number one priority. Thank you.